Hey y'all, Matt Massa Beers here, back with uh, a little bit more of this, uh, yeah, near beer. A little bit of dry January, hopeful goodness up at its peace. Athletic Brewing, this is their pilot program. Um, actually didn't even know this existed. It was, um, actually that's wrong, I did know it existed. Uh, my buddy Keith, he, um, he mentioned this a while ago, because uh, my buddy Keith, 93 Lumber, you know him, um... He actually is a fan of non-alcoholic beer also. Um, so he told me a while ago, I totally forgot about it. And um, when I started kind of leaning into this dry January thing, it's more specifically when I posted my first video, <clears throat> the first of the year, he, uh, uh, a couple of viewers actually reached out to me and said, hey man, you should really check out Athletic Brewing in general. But, and I have, I have some of their stuff I I have queued up for a review, but I said more specifically their pilot program, which is really just available online. Uh, and I looked, and lo and behold, <clears throat> two six packs, free shipping. That's how I live. And they had, I think, four offerings up there. Dum Dum Me only got two of them. Why? Because their website, I, it was like multiple pages, and it wasn't really all that organized because this didn't click, didn't click on any kind of like filter by. And I only saw these two, so I picked up um, the one we're going to be doing now, which is their Dave's American Dark Malt. No idea who Dave is, um, but we'll see what's what. And uh, the other one was their ESB. So we'll see how the sucker fares. Kind of pumped for it. Um, like I said, Athletic Brewing. It is their pilot program, Dave's American Dark Malt, uh, non-alcoholic beer. Uh, Athletic Brewing Company, near beer, established 2017, is what they say on here. Did they have a story about the beer itself? Uh, they do not. I just know it is a dark beer. It says Dave's American Dark Malt. No idea what kind of style they're going for here. This is packaged on October 19th, 2021, so it's been sitting around a little bit. It is a darker beer, so I'm not going to sit here and say, you know. It's not going to hold up. Um, Athletic Brew Company, um, one of my favorite uh, brewers of non-alcoholic beer. Um, weird interview, though. Let's put it that way. I actually watched one of their, or listened to one of their interviews on uh, Steal This Beer. And the owner, I don't know if that's Dave or who knows what it is, but, uh, well, they do. And I listen to him, so I should remember, but I don't because that's how this guy rolls. Um <clears throat> and uh what was i gonna say uh he was real kind of cryptic and kind of like secretive of the process that he does with the beers and whatnot so i don't know that's kind of weird oh we'll do the label because i always love label water i don't want to make that not a thing and uh it looks kind of like eh, it's okay not gonna blow me away Anyway, but as far as the beer looks, I mean, it looks like dark beer. We're going into this relatively, <clears throat> not blind, but we actually don't know what kind of style of beer we're dealing with here. But as you can see, it's got a rich, dark color to it. It has that nice kind of <clears throat> pinky finger of that cream, uh, creamy, fluffy kind of head to it. It's stuff that you really want from a nice, rich, what I would assume by the look, I'm assuming they're just going for an oatmeal base kind of dark malted beer somewhere in the 8% range. That's what it looks like to me from a distance, to be perfectly honest with you. So, but yeah, doesn't look like a too shabby of a beer. Let's see what kind of nose it's got. That, I mean, hefty chocolate malts here. Um, that's the leader in the clubhouse, big chocolate malts. A little bit of roastiness to it, nothing too aggressive. It does smell like a base kind of, I don't even call it a stout. I really want to go porter on this one. Kind of like an American porter is kind of where it lands for me. There's a little bit of bittering in there. I think, you, think you're getting that from a malt base, a rich, nice, beautiful malt base in combination with a little bit of soft kind of hopping, nothing too overly aggressive. And it just smells like a really nice, toasty, roasty kind of porter. Again, the word doughy. The thing that we kind of warned you about uh, when it comes to all this uh, bulk of the non-alcoholic beers. None of it. None of it here. So that's probably the biggest surprise for me is that this has got this nice richness to it. Nothing overly aggressive. Like I said, it's coming off like a 5 to 7% kind of uh, porter for me. But there is none of that doughiness present in the nose. And that has me super, super hyped for the beer. So anyway, dive in. Cheers. That doesn't suck. 
That does not suck. Still dealing with the cameras, angles, and how to get everything the way I want it to be. It's quite a bit more bittering than I thought it was going to be based off of the nose. <clears throat> and the bittering, I think, is a big portion of it is coming from a big malt, a roasty, stringent kind of malt component. It's really aggressive. It's almost getting to a point where I'm starting to, it's not a Cascadian kind of dark ale, but the way the roast comes off in the malt and the combination, the way the bitterness kind of comes off in the, in the actual uh, hop schedule, the hop dosage of this beer really kind of flirts with that line of a bittering kind of porter, kind of leaning into a kind of that Cascadian dark kind of thing going on. That's nice. It is it is very tasty. None of that doughy component that I talk about um, quite often with these uh, non-alcoholic beers. It, in any shape or fashion, it does have a touch, a touch of thinness to it um, for a rich, dark beer like this. But again, I'm not going to get too kind of caught up in it because I know how hard of a get that is. And a lot of these um, non-alcoholic beers, it is one of the more kind of vibrant and aggressive um, non-alcoholic beers I've ever had, especially when you start to talk about, like, no adjuncts in this, you know, not that there, I don't think there is, I don't know if they call out what's in the beer on their cans, <clears throat> they don't, I don't believe, I could see there being some chocolate in here, <clears throat> but it's not like, if you tell me there's no chocolate in here, it's not like I'm like, you're a liar, you know, liar, liar, pants on fire stuff, um, it, it just comes off this big, robust kind of porter, in a very, very, very cool way. Best athletic beer I've had. Let's put it that way. And I really do enjoy their beers. Just especially it being a darker beer. And um, not and going into it kind of pseudo mystery style. Not really knowing what kind of beer it is. And, and what is in store. You know. For something like this. I think it's quite, quite tasty. Quite fantastic. Yeah. I'm a fan. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Really good stuff. Ugh, making me burp. It shows you how good it is. And really none of the telltale signs besides a touch of thinness, but I've had thinner alcohol-based kind of beers. Um, it kind of not giving me any of those telltale signs uh, of, uh, of a lot of those non-alcoholic beers, more specifically on the darker side of things. And, it, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I start to question myself a little bit being so far removed from actual drinking beer. It's been, you know, almost, God, we're almost going on two months now. And uh, you start to think maybe you forget um, what beer tastes like. I don't think that's the case here. I think it's um I think it's just a really well done non alcoholic version of a big robust porter. That's what I would call it, even though they want to call it just dark malt. It is what it is. Uh, I'm curious to go online now and see what they classified this as. If it is something a little bit more kind of porter esque, because that's what I would place it as. But a really tasty beer nonetheless. Like I said, um, it's definitely one of the better darker beers, especially when you if you whittle it down to adjuncts like non adjuncty it is the best um and, and the price point is absolutely 100 percent awesome uh you're talking about i think it was 12.99 a six pack uh free shipping if you order two i actually ended up finding some kind of google you know in the, your web browser and you click on it and now it's like hey there's coupons it just does that i was like yeah click it and it took like even like seven or eight bucks off for me so i ended up getting two six packs for like 18 dollars or something which is like almost kind of like criminally sad because i should have just paid that extra seven bucks because breweries need money but yeah christmas Anyway, I'm not gonna. Anyway, um, but yeah, really tasty beer nonetheless. I mean, it, it, it boils down to isn't one of the better ones that I've had, and that's an absolute yes, especially from the dark side of things, especially more specifically on the kind of like non adjunct level. It's that Mount Rushmore leading on the top of that mountain kind of thing, and spin that into if you like what we like this, it is one of the better dark beers in the non alcoholic kind of um, kind of spectrum. So if you are looking for something that hits that mark in the near beer kind of territory, you're going to be hard pressed to find something better. To be perfectly honest with you. So there you go. A little bit of a uh, yeah, athletic pilot program. Dave Stark Mall. Not too shabby. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our review while we whittle out the kinks of the new camera. Because I just realized that if I have my camera where it is now and I move my beer somewhere... 
If I go, oh, if I go like that, the camera doesn't want to focus back on me because, goddamn, you need to look at me, not the goddamn beer. See, now if I go like this, oh, a little bit more in focus now. If I go like this, I'm all the way in focus now. Anyway, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully you're enjoying some near beer, dry January. If you don't do dry January, nothing wrong with that either. Uh, some people that's, just don't want to do it. Eh, I like it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Hopefully you're enjoying some good beer right now. Cheers, y'all.